What is going on guys? Fusion here with another video. Now this video we have is just um uh, uh it's a my thoughts kind of video on uh, the Lego Ninjago movie uh sets that have been revealed um uh, to us um recently in the past few months or days. Um uh, this is actually also a thank you for for you guys to give me to 70 subscribers and that's just really really crazy. I mean, we were just at 60 subscribers just like not too long ago honestly and it's kind of crazy that it has been going up ever since but anyways um first set we are actually going to start with is the shark attack now this is a junior set and to be honest i think this set looks really really great honestly you get three minifigures and then you get two vehicles and the shark vehicle to the right is honestly really really awesome i think the the, the design on it was really really cool sorry i'm sorry if i do stutter a lot um I'm not really good with my words sometimes, uh, but the shark vehicle does actually look really, really cool. I really do like it. Um, you can see it does have like a shark kind of face, and I, that's the thing that I kind of do like. And then we have the other vehicle is maybe Kai's motorcycle or whatever. Um, I think it's actually pretty good, so it has to be a simple build, so it's not like the motorcycles that we're kind of are used to. I mean, I'm pretty sure we maybe got one, one of these in like a Lego City set, but I don't really know. Um, I don't really collect a lot of Lego City sets anymore, just mostly Ninjago or just DC or Marvel, um, but mostly Ninjago and DC. But yeah, we do get Kai, Lloyd, and then this shark um, villain, as you can see. Uh, Lloyd, he does come with like a sensei kind of um, suit, so that's really neat to get it. Um, in the blind bags, we do also get Nia in the sensei. Um, if you guys want me to to do a my thoughts video on that, just put it down in the comments below. Um, and Kai just comes with his regular outfit. Um, you do get like uh, these training kind of things as well in the background. Uh, not in the background, like with uh, just the play features and kind of stuff. Um, so I think that's pretty great. And now the next set we actually are going to get into is sorry about that is a spinjutsu training. Now this uh, training uh, set is just comes with Kai again and Zayn. Um, so I'm pretty sure that's a good mix up. Um, and then you do get a lot of training equipments. You do get the um, the helmet of shadows. Um, that we got introduced in season two, um, so I think that's pretty pretty neat to get. Um, you do get Zane with like a bow and, and arrows, and then you do get Kai with the katanas. Um, I might actually be be picking up this set. I don't really know if I am or not. Um, I might only get it just for the helmet because I haven't ever got it before. So yeah. And the other set I uh, the other set I actually did show you the shark attack. I might actually get that one too. Um, it's a junior set, so. Um, I'm, no, I'm not really collectible of juniors, but I might actually get that set as well. Then now the next set we're going to go to is Ninjago City Chase. Now this set is by far one of my favorite sets to be honest. I'm, I'm hoping to get this set, honestly, um, it's, all, it's one of the sets I actually really do like. Um, you do get about five minifigures, as I can see. You do get a um, police officer that looks like bad cop, um, then a, civil, a civilian Nia in her civilian kind of clothes, Lloyd in his Sylvania, civilian kind of t clothes as well, and then you do get like this shark um, ah, bad guy as well, and then the vehicle is just like a really decent kind of vehicle, and uh, of course it's, it's Ninjago, it's like Japan or Chinese kind of uh, thing, so of course the vehicle is going to be like that. And then we do get the lamp posts, the two of them, and then the lights, it's pretty cool as well. And then for the shop, I really do like it. I really do like how it comes comes with like all those things, especially the cherries. Um, I actually haven't ever got them before, so I think that's pretty neat to include that in a very cheap set. Well, not a very cheap set, but like a good decent, a good decent price set. Now for uh, Lloyd and Nia, I think those are the only ones you actually ever do get, except for um, the mini f mini figure ba blind bag. You do get Lloyd in his, with his hoodie, and um, that's about it. Um, but yeah, I think I might get that set be because it's one, it's a really great, great set. Two, um, the vehicle in it is actually really cool. We I, we haven't ever gotten a vehicle like that. Three, the Nia and Lloyd, is, their torsos is, are really, really great. You could also use them for different kind of minifigures as well. Now, the next set we are actually going to go to is the Master Falls. Now, this is one set that I actually really do like. Now, the Master Falls set does include Wu, Kai, 
Garmadon and the skeleton. Um, don't really know why, but I guess that's a good little car, a uh, good, min good little minifigure to um get. Yeah, but the Master Falls it kind of reminds me of the lo Lava Falls if you if you guys know that set from 2014, the Tournament of Elements, I believe so. Um, but I think this is actually a really good set. Um, I really do like the Garmadon inside there as well. And then Wu, you kind of do get him in a really um, cheap and great set. And then Kai, you do get his hairpiece in it. And the only other, the only other set you actually do get it with his hairpiece is the Temple of the Ultimate Weapon. So this is one of one of the great sets to uh, get um, get his hairpiece actually in a cheap kind of set. Also goes with Nia and Lloyd as well. Uh, that's a really uh, cheap set instead of having the Temple of the Ultimate Weapon as well. And um, this is actually a little bit more bigger than the Lava Falls, so that's his, that is actually one thing that is actually really great about this. Um, it has 312 pieces, so that's really, really great. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't really have any other kind of picture for it. So um, next set, we are actually going to go to Manta Ray Bomber. Manta Ray Bomber. Now this set, um, I'm not actually going to get. Um, the other set, the Master Falls, is, I might actually do get. But this set, um, it doesn't really pop out to me like as a get it. Maybe like a eh, kind of get, but I don't really know. Um, but the vehicle is like on honestly pretty pretty decent. And then the minifigs you actually do get, you get um, four characters: a civilian, Cole, and then two um, shark kind of villains, as you can see there. And now the vehicle is actually really great. It's supposed to represent a uh, Monterey, so um, I think that. I think they actually really did a really great um, design of a Monterey for that kind of vehicle. Um, I'm not really a huge fan of Monterey's, honestly, but um, I don't know if I'm actually going to get this set, but if I do have enough um, left around, uh, I might actually pick this up, but I don't really know. You can see it does have like those um, fling shooters kind of thing. Um, I think the first time we actually got that was in the DBX and in the Jungle Raider kind of set we got in 2014 for the Tournament of Elements and um yeah I think that's it for this um, set right here the next one we are going to go to Flying Jelly Sub Flying Jelly Sub now this is another set that I'm uh, it's a uh, kind of set to get um I don't really I the only thing that's cool about this is maybe the chains um I haven't really gotten the chains like that I'm pretty sure we maybe got introduced that in Chima or maybe I'm just Thinking of, thinking of another color but the boat you actually do get um it's a really really great boat uh, min miniature min miniature kind of scale but um you do get jay and then two villains and then a civilian and i kind of do like it with almost each um lego ninjago set that we actually are going to get you do get uh, civilians inside of it so for the shows we don't ever get at get that before so i'm really actually glad that they do have that but like I said I'm not really going to get the set but um you, it's my opinion I don't really like it that much but it's your opinion that you might actually like it. the next set we actually are going to go into is the water spider strike strider this set is honestly really great it kind of reminds me of um the ultra agents sets um this set is well this vehicle is Nia's vehicle I'm pretty believes believe so um i might actually get this set i don't really know um like you do get kai kai and nia for the ninjas and then two villains as well um i think the vic the strider whatever it's called um is pretty decent honestly um i i don't really know if it's going to be my kind of a uh, good of a taste to me um i'm not really into like these kind of wacky kind of vehicles to be honest um but um i might actually pick this up i don't really know um if you guys like this set, then you guys like this set. I think it's actually pretty cool. Um, you do get guy knee, honestly, so that's pretty great as well. The next one we're actually going to go on to is the Green Ninja Mech Dragon. The Green Ninja Mech Dragon is by far one of the best dragons I've honestly seen for Ninjago, except for the Moral Dragon. But this dragon is honestly really, really great. I, li I love the design on it. Um, we haven't ever got that kind of color, color of green. I uh, mean, we have, but like for a dragon, that's really, really awesome. You do get Garmadon, Lloyd, Wu, and the villain, as you can see. Um, so I think this is pretty cool. You do get this laser kind of beam that we kind of did get introduced to in the Lego movie as well. Um, so I, I might actually be picking this set up. Um, I don't really know. 
uh, I really want it. Honestly, um, I think it's really great to have something like that, especially a more different kind of dragon than we actually are used to. Honestly, um, the Garmadon in this is actually really, really great as well. Uh, you do get the helmet. You do get this like um, dress kind of Garmadon, I will say, and um, really just the. Uh, mm, just a regular kind of minifigure from the Master Falls kind of set. So yeah, I think I might actually be picking this up. Um, I This is actually one of a great dragon kind of set I've actually seen in my life before. The next set we are actually going to go to is Gamma, Me Gamma Mecha Man. This set is, in my opinion, alright, honestly. I might not actually get it. It's not the best kind of mech I've seen in in the Legos kind of form, um, but you do get Garmadon Lloyd, a civilian, and then um, a shark kind of villain. Um, I, I don't really know if I'm actually going to get this. You actually do get another laser beam in that set as well. Um, but the mech is just a little too like not my kind of style. Too bulky and too like looks a little wide for my kind of view. But I don't really know what what your view is. But um, I don't really know if I'm actually going to get the set. Um, I'm probably not honestly, but I, I there's other sets more more good sets that is out there. But out of the Monterey bomber, flying jelly sub, and the water strider is this one might have might have to be one of my favorites out of all those ones that I have mentioned that I might not really get. Um, so yeah, the next set we actually are going to get to is the the lightning jet set has to be one of the weirdest kind of sets on this um, movie kind of list. Um, there, there was other ones that I didn't really mention, but this one is just really, really weird. Um, it's a lightning jet, not um, whatever kind of jet it's supposed to be looking like in for them. Um, but the only reason why a lot of people will actually get this set is because you do get Ed and Edna. So we always wanted that in a really, really long time. I think for the first time we might get introduced by from them. Uh, we actually did want to get Lou as well. Um, we did get Ray and Maya, so that's a really great. Um, but I might actually get the set. I don't really know, but I really do want Ray and Maya. Um, so yeah, you do get Jay. Wait, Ray and Maya? Not Ray and Maya. Ed and Edna. Sorry about that. You do get Jay, Ed and Edna. Um, three villains and then a crab kind of mechanic machine not mechanic machine robot my lord what is going on with my mind okay but um i think the jet is actually pretty good um kind of reminds me of gardens of the galaxy to be honest from the color and then from the style of it um i don't know if that if it looks like to you guys um but it kind of does to me um the jet is all right to be honest uh i think they could have maybe done it a little bit more better um, the lightning jet is, it, it's, it's kind of weird, okay, um, lightning jet, I'm pretty sure we maybe had, the storm flyer was particularly more good for Jay since it was a storm flyer and it has these good, um, play features for it to act like if it was a storm and this set is just really weird, um, no, nothing else is really weird to be honest but just Jay's vehicle is just, uh, not kind of my type as well. I think they could have done that a little bit more better. The next set we are actually going to go to is the fire mech upset. Now this includes Kai Zane, a civilian with an ice cream, which is pretty awesome. Uh, three villains as well, and this mech is all right. Honestly, I don't really think I like it. It looks too plain to me. Honestly, um, in the movie it looks all right, but then once you get it in the set, it was. It's just I, I don't really know. Um, the red it, it, it's just all over to be honest. Um, the red, the black, the gray. Um, I, I don't think I really do like. I mean, the color scheme is all right, but then the mech is just. I, I don't really know. I really do like the fire coming out out of the almost not just with replacing the arms so I actually really do like this but then you do get Kai and Zayn you could get them too in a more cheaper set is the Spinjitsu training set as well and but the civilian is carrying an ice cream and who doesn't love ice cream I think he comes does come with a platform as well like if he's actually getting stuck as we did introduce to whenever them were whenever those uh, two married people were running and then that one guy just gets stuck for 
um, no reason. I don't really know how. But yeah, um, I might not actually be getting the set. This is one set I might not actually even get. Um, so yeah, this is just my opinion that I don't might not really. Uh, I don't really like it that much. But in your opinion, him, it might be one of the awesome sets. The next set we have is yes, the ice tank. Now this is Zane's vehicle, as you can see. The ice tank is honestly pretty pretty all right. Um, from the front view, it doesn't really look good. From the back view, it looks all right to be honest. You do get Zane, I think two civils, two civilians. And then two um, shark kind of bad guys kind of dudes. Um, the shark, the shark tank, the ice tank. Um, I, I think it's all right to be honest. Um, the top part kind of reminds me of Star Wars. Uh, so yeah, uh, the top, the bottom part just reminds me of not Zane kind of set. Um, but yeah, this is the Lego Ninja Dragon movie. We're not. It's not like from the show. Um, so yeah, I, we just gotta note that. Um, I don't really know if I'm actually going to get this. If it's a kind of a high kind of price, I don't really know uh, if I'm actually going to even get this at all. But if it's maybe a good kind of price for this set, I think I might actually get it. Don't really know. Um, we do get Zane in like almost three sets already. Um, one is really, really cheap to get him. So I don't think this one might be in my hands or in my shelf for any kind of reason. But yeah. Temple of the ultimate ultimate weapon. Don't know why they have ultimate two times in a, two times, but I guess it's ultimate ultimate. And I will pretty sure agree with them that it's ultimate ultimate. This set I really do want honestly. Um, this is one out of three ones that I I'm not honestly hyped about to be honest. Um, I'm not he hesitating or anything like that. I really do actually want this set. You do get all the ninjas. Even I'm pretty sure Sensei Wu and Garb down his own self because it is his temple. Um, you do get all the ninja set pieces, which is honestly fantastic to be honest for all of you guys that wanted every one of them uh, hair pieces. Yes, this is really giant and expensive set. Uh, I think it's like a hundred dollars. I don't I don't really remember the price, but yes, um, a lot of people might not really get the set, uh, but. Me personally, I really do want it, so I might actually save up for this set. Especially the other one I might, I'm go going to review, going to do my thoughts on is the next set. I actually really do want, and this set is just honestly really, really great. I love the um, little, uh, not the little, the big kind of stone, not stone kind of colored. Um, I don't really know what they are, but I think they're actually really, really cool. Um, you get two of them, so that's pretty awesome. And then the back side of it, um, I don't really have a picture of the back side, so I'm really I'm sorry about that. But I think it's really, really great. I might, I really do want to get this set. I might. That's a word that I'm not really going to say for this set. So yeah, um, the next set we do have is the Destiny's Bounty. Destiny's Bounty is, again, another set I really actually do want. You do get all the ninjas. Um, this picture, you can't really see Lloyd, but you actually do get them. Then, for the other kind of weapons and accessories you do get, you actually get into, you actually do get in, they made those come from the show to the movie, which is on, honestly really great. I mean, I don't know if it's going to be in the movie, but it comes, does come with the set, if that makes any sense. I'm sorry. I, I'm not really good with my words. Um, but yeah, this, if I actually do get this set, it might be one of my favorite sets from the Lego Ninjago movie um, line. Um, but you do get all the ninjas with not their pieces, but their ninja mask. You do get Wu, um, so that's great. And this is going. If I do get the set, this is actually going to be my first of Destiny's bounty set I've ever gotten from the Ninjago timeline. Um, so yeah, I haven't gotten the first one, flight of the de the final flight of the Destiny's Bounty. I haven't got any of that. Um, so yeah, now this is a more bigger kind of Destiny's Bounty as we are used to from the other two that we have um, got introduced. And so the other two were just like small, and you can't really fit all the ninjas inside or whatever. Um, so this is actually a really great uh, way to put all the ninjas in and have more room. And then the inside of it, you actually can play as well um, I don't have really have any pictures for that so I'm really I'm sorry and then for the top it's kind of like almost there where they will steer the ship you could also put minifigures inside there as well and then the um for the cells is on honestly really great you can see he has like a dragon and then maybe like 
um, the symbol for um, destiny. I'm pretty sure. Um, pretty sure that's the symbol of destiny. Um, so yeah, I, this is a set that I really do want. It comes with like two headed drag dragons on the front, so that's how you know it's really big. Now, the last set that I'm I'm going to do right now is the biggest one that Ninjago has ever received. It has a thousand eight hundred and sixty seven pieces. You guys may maybe already know what it is. It costs three hundred dollars. It is the Ninjago City set. Now this whenever I first look at this, I was really amazed that Lego honestly got this big set for Ninjago. This is one of the biggest sets that we have ever got for Ninjago, and this is just one of one of the most sets I really do want. This costs three hundred bucks, as I did say. Um, so I don't really know if I'm going to have enough money to buy that. And this comes with sixteen characters. The only ninjas you actually do get is Jay and Lloyd. Lloyd with his uh, civilian kind of clothes, but you do get his um, suit as well. Jay, he doesn't come with his civilian uh, suit. He he comes with his ninja outfit, and I actually did uh, get a mistake right there. Uh, he comes also with Kai, but just only with his civilian kind of suit. Um, so yeah, Lloyd is the only one that gets civilian and ninja suit in this too. And you actually do get the new and improved Misako. Um, so yeah, uh, you actually do get her in a blind bag uh, as well. This set ha is three stories, so that's how you know it's going to be a really big set. Okay, the box is just like really, really big as well. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be more taller than the Temple of Air Jitsu. I don't really know about City of Sticks though. Um, I'm pretty sure people have to compare that. Um, they really haven't. But yeah, this is one set that I really, really, really do actually want. Um, it comes with a lot of Easter eggs, not just from Ninjago, uh, from the show, but with other kind of Lego themes as well. So, now since I have done a My Thoughts kind of video, um, I'm pretty sure I did it, said this in the beginning, but if you guys want me to do my thoughts on the blind bag, the minifigures for for the Lego Ninjago movie for the blind bags, um, just put it get down in the comments below. Um, I might do it. Uh, I don't really know when though. Uh, but this is for 70 subscribers. Uh, my thoughts video from for the Lego Ninjago movie sets. Now I hope you guys like this video. Like and subscribe for more reviews, uh, stop motions. And if you guys want anything you guys want me to do, just put it down in the comments below and I'll be sure to do it for you guys. And see you guys later. Bye!